that Lindsay Lohan? Lindsay Lohan, oh my gosh. Evan DeVore, TMZ, do you have a, do you have a quick minute? Quick minute. So I can go to Serena's birthday. What did you go to rehab for this time, Miss Lohan? You know, shaving your head, acting like a freaking Spears. Got it. All right, so tell us about the dress you're sporting here today. Sporting Kim Kardashian, because I'm a white girl and I can. Because she's a white girl and she can. So. Tell, can you give us a little sneak peek about into your uh, into your uh, new movie, Parent Trap Five? I actually play both roles. Both roles, something we've never seen before. All right. So, how does it feel to be coming to the coolest party in LA right now? It's such a blessing. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. All right. Well, thank you so much, Miss Lohan. Have a fantastic time. Evan Devore, TMZ. Um. So. Tell us, uh, tell us about how it feels to be invited to one of the best parties of the year. This is crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So give us your full name and uh, tell us about the dress you're wearing today. Okay. My name is Tara Hall, and I am wearing this dress from Charlotte Russe that I just bought like two days ago because I hate shopping and I hate dresses, so this is what I bought. Awesome, awesome. So is there like a special birthday message you want to you wanna wish to Serena right now before you see her? I hate you for making me wear this dress. Got him. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh. It looks like we have the couple of the year coming down the red carpet. Uh, can we put Evan DeVore, uh, TMZ, can we get a quick interview? How does it feel to be invited to the party of the year, Serena's Sweet 16? Honestly, it just feels so great. I'm so honored to be here. She's such an amazing actress. I'm shocked she even invited me. Honestly, it's so exclusive, these parties I hear. I, I, I just, I can't. I'm just... Very, very, uh, very exclusive indeed. Uh, sir, any of your thoughts on being invited to the best party of the year? I really don't know what to say. It's surreal. Very, very. Um, so, ma'am, tell us a little bit about what you're wearing here. Um, I'm wearing a dress. It was actually designed by Akon. He's now a fashion designer. It's really shocking, and um, he made it just for me. Wow, Akon. We're talking about Akon here. All right, do you guys have just a quick little, you know, surprise birthday message for Serena before you go and see her? I love you, Serena. Have a good day, Flip. All right, thank you guys so much. Have a great time. Evan Vor, TMZ. Oh my gosh, everybody, it's Julia Roberts. Oh my gosh. Evan DeVore, TMZ. Do you have time for a quick interview? No. <laughs> okay, well, we're doing it anyways, because we're TMZ and we don't let anybody through this door. So, tell us about the dress you're wearing tonight. You know, it's uh, something new, kind of borrowed, but you know, it's all good. You gotta do what you gotta do. So, how does it feel to be invited to the coolest party in San Diego right now? Honestly, I was just... I literally cried when I got it, like a little bit of tears. You know, no one had to see me in that moment. I had to hide, but you know, I'm here today. That's fantastic. Um, so do you have a, like, so what's your relation to Serena? She's an acquaintance, but you know, like. <laughs> just an acquaintance, just an acquaintance, nothing special or anything like that? <laughs> no. Okay, so um, do, you have a, do you have a quick little birthday message for the birthday girl? You know, buddy? Congratulations, you're finally the big 1-6. You're going to have a great year. Thank you so much. Thank you for the interview. Have a great time. Oh, my gosh. Is that Jennifer Aniston? Rachel Green, friends? Oh, my goodness. How does it, Evan DeVore, TMZ, how does it feel to be invited to one of the coolest parties in San Diego happening right now? Oh, it feels great, you know. Love it. It must be. So tell us about this wonderful dress you're sporting here today. The dress? Well, it's obviously Gucci. Of course. My fave. Love you, Gucci. All right. So, do you have a do you have a quick little uh, inside? I mean, are, is there going to be any kind of like friends reunion tour or something? I mean, give me something. Maybe. What, what are you working on now? I mean, um, I'm not allowed to say. <sighs> You're going to do us dirty like that, Rachel? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, how, how's Ross Geller? Oh, he's fab. You know. Is he fab? Nah. Uh, what? How's that? <laughs> How, how's that kid going? No, let's not talk about that. Either. All right, so, I mean, are we getting our drink on tonight? You know what I'm saying? It's a party, so, I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, do you have, a, you have a quick little special birthday wish for the birthday girl? Okay, well, happy birthday. You're um, kind of ratchet sometimes, but it's okay. I love you anyways, so. Uh, completely understandable. Have a wonderful time tonight. Thank you for the interview.
Oh my god, is that Justin Bieber? Biebs, Biebs, what brings you to the coolest party in San Diego tonight? Oh, I just gotta support my my fan, Serena Cuomo. She, oh, she a, is she a big fan of yours? I guess. Is that your, is that your relationship between her? Yeah. How's your how's your new music coming out lately? That new song, Sorry, how's that doing? It's doing great. I'm gonna go platinum. Platinum? That sounds really cool tonight. So, do you have a message for the birthday girl? Oh uh, yeah, um, I love you. Wow, that's a message from Justin Bieber. Hey, have have a good evening tonight. Oh my God, is that J.J. Abrams? What bring J.J. Abrams? What brings you down to one of the coolest parties in San Diego tonight? I don't know. It smelled like chicken here. I love chicken. Chicken? Wow. Well, do you have any big news coming up with the you know the new movie Star Wars: The Force Awakens? I've actually never seen it, so I'm gonna wing it. Hopefully, it'll turn out good. Wow. What, do you have any any spoilers, possibly any hints to the? To um, we are going to integrate some other Disney characters, so you you may want to look out there with the. Just gonna say, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to put that out there. That's that's astonishing. Please, let's just drop the bomb now. Please tell me Jar Jar Binks is not in this movie. He's replaced by someone better. Oh God. Oh dear. Okay. Well, what's your message to the birthday girl tonight? Message to the birthday girl. Look at the camera. I will include you in Shrek 3 when I record it. <laughs> Shrek 3, that is astonishing. Well, JJ Abrams, have a good evening. Have a good evening. Oh my god. Guys, that's that's the owner of the Denny's franchise restaurants. Denny, what brings you down to one of the coolest parties in San Diego tonight? For the food. I'm just trying to critique the food. You're here to critique the food? Are you are you looking for new foods to put in your restaurant? Exactly, I'm trying to steal everything. Steal everything? Not make new recipes, but just yeah. Wow, sounds interesting. Well, well, what? I mean, what's your relationship exactly with the birthday girl? Um, I've known her for like three years, four years through the business, you know. Three, four years. Yeah. Is she a daily customer of yours, or? Yeah, I steal her food. Oh, you steal her food? Oh, that makes much more sense. Now. That's why she's always trying to steal my food all the time. Oh. Okay. Well, what's your message to the birthday girl this evening? Um, I hope she has a good day and to give me more food. All right, you heard it. That's Denny's for the owner of the Denny's Franchise Restaurants. Hey, have a good evening. Have a good evening. Holy crap. Guys, it's Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga? Miss Gaga, what is your relationship exactly with the birthday girl tonight? Can we just get a quick interview? Really quick, okay? Yeah. So what's your relationship with the birthday girl tonight? Oh, um, well, um, she, um, wrote me through my, um, million fan club, and she asked me if I could help her express herself. Express herself? How so, exactly? Well, she seems to have trouble with, um, opening up who she really is inside. So, I came here to help her with express herself in her mannerisms in her fashion so will she possibly will she possibly make a guest appearance on one of your new upcoming albums or so oh we're not that close oh not that close wow <laughs> that is some big news all right well what is your what is your message to the birthday girl tonight? my message is serena have a 16th birthday and I want you to just be who you are. Don't be afraid. Come out. Just express who you are. If you feel like blonde, get blonde. If you feel like, you know, red graffiti, then go red graffiti. I mean, be who you are. If you're angry, then just wear black. It's okay. What an astonishing message. One more question for you tonight. What about this outfit? What is going on with this? It's it got a lot of, we got patterns, we got this, we got, what is, I don't even know what that is. So tell us more about your outfit, who designed it? Is, um, well, okay, the skirt is, I don't know, what's that? The skirt is for Sachi, and um, I made this myself, because I wanted to express myself. Same, wow. I'm feeling kind of insecure a little today, so wore a little bit of black. But I'm also in a very festive mood, so. Oh, you're gonna bring a lot of the festive to the party tonight. 
Well, you know what, Lady Gaga? Have a good evening and have a great time bringing the festive to the party. This is real ostrich right here. You, I think you did mention that. Yeah. Ostrich. This is ostrich. All right, well, thank you for your time, Lady Gaga. That's all we have the time for right now. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Holy crap. It's, it's Shane Dawson and his boyfriend, Martin. Mr. Dawson and Martin, what brings you guys down to this coolest party in San Diego tonight? Well, we just heard it's a complete rager, and everybody's been talking about it. It's been buzzing all over the internet. That sounds interesting. And I also heard about um, Mr. Dawson's coming out of the closet. How is your fan base going through that right now? Um, they're handling it pretty well. They're kind of stoked. I feel like it can really contribute to the community and all the kids who are too afraid to come out of the closet. Because I know I had those troubles, and I think they can do it. That, that's, that is great advice. Well, well, speaking of which, how is this relationship going for you guys right now? How is it going? Well, um, well actually, speaking of relationship, we've been kind of having problems. I'm kidding. Okay. Serena's baby. Shocker. I'm carrying Serena's baby. Oh. My. God. Does anybody know about this? No. <laughs> How do you feel about this? I was really shocked and really hurt because I just thought that they were friends and she kept coming to his house and what I found out, I was just so heartbroken. But we've been trying to fix it. We've been going to counseling and it's been getting a little better. Any other words? There's nothing to say. Okay. Well, do you have any uh, hopefully inspiring messages to Serena? Maybe not. Rock out. Rock out. Okay. Well, try to have a good evening. Don't get too sappy. Have a good evening, Mr. Dawson. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Oh my god. What are you guys doing out here on this beautiful night to this one of the coolest parties in San Diego? Well, we heard that there was a lot of pretty girls here, so... No comment. <laughs> We're here for the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks. Wow, that, that's very surprising. I hope to God there is some. <laughs> there, there, there are some, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Beer. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Beer. Okay. <laughs> Brad, Brad, do you have any new upcoming movies coming out lately? Uh, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Uh... <laughs> yeah, help me out here. Yeah. I'll tell you later. Okay. George Clooney, you got movies coming out? Yeah, I'm doing this one for Disney because that last one was a flop. <laughs> last one was a flop? <laughs> All right, wow. Lander, I want to forget about it, Land, or something like that. <laughs> something like that. must have been. <laughs> well, do you have any uh, message for the birthday girl tonight? Yes, we want to say hello and happy birthday, and we love her. Happy birthday, Serena. We do love you. All right, well, that is it from Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Well, enjoy your evening in one of the coolest San Diego parties. DMZ out. My God. It's 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 Stevie Nicks. It's Stevie Nicks. Oh my god. Miss Miss Nicks. Miss Nicks. Sammy Coleman here at TMZ. How does it how does it feel to be at one of the coolest parties in San Diego? It's fabulous. Just fabulous. Fabulous. What is your relationship between the birthday girl, Serena Cuomo? Well, she's my niece, darling. She's your niece? She's my favorite niece. Favorite niece? Two, right? <laughs> Alright, we're cutting this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Sammy Cuomo. That's, that's, uh, that's Stevie Nicks here uh, entering the Serena Cuomo's greatest. Per oh, oh! Oh, yes! Oh! Well, okay, I'm not sure what this is anymore. Okay. Yeah. He's my favorite youngest nephew. That's right. And favorite. He is, he is yeah. an aspiring musician, very talented, intelligent young man. That's, that's it? Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> he's handsome. All right, all right. We're going to cut it short. Yeah. We're going to yeah. cut it short. We're running out of time. Nah. <laughs> Come on, darling. Nah. All right, Sammy Cuomo at TMZ out. Oh, my God. Is that Nick Jonas? What? Oh, my God. Nick Jonas. What is your relationship with Serena Cuomo? You know, I don't even know. I think I just met her on the sidewalk one day and just, you know, 
you know, we became instantly friends from there. Astonishing. Are you coming out with any new album or music lately? No. No, I'm not. No. Nothing? No. Yes. How does it feel to do nothing right now with your life? Just, it's really relaxing, you know? I, I could only assume so. All right, well, have fun. This is Serena's birthday party, only the coolest party in all of San Diego. Oh my gosh, Sammy, Sammy, it is her. It is the one and only Serena Cuomo. Serena, Serena, Evan DeVore, TMZ, please, quick, quick interview. Tell us about this party that you're having. Well, um, I figured it should be a big event, right? It's my 16th, so I invited everyone. So people wouldn't feel left out, of course. And it's it's just um, it's just going to be a fun time. We've got lots of food. We've got great music. We've got um, we've got meat. That's all we need. That's all we need. You know, I got I got a quick sneak peek. It definitely looks fabulous. In also including your dress. Please tell tell us a little bit about it. What's going on? Well, um, see, it's a Katy Perry inspired top, but I felt the cupcakes with the candles were a bit much. A little much, so I didn't. I decided to take those off and just go with the classic look, elegant, you know. And we'll see how. It goes. So classy, Serena. So classy, as always. So tell us, can we get a little sneak peek about what your upcoming movie is going to be like? Well, everyone in the world wants to know. No promises, but Zac Efron could make an appearance. Zac Efron with Serena. I mean, are we going to see Zac Efron paired up with you? I mean, that would be something. I mean. You'll have to wait till next November. That's looking like a little bit of, uh, you know, giving us a little insight. Serena, thank you so much, and uh, have an awesome birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, the interview of the lifetime. I am honored. All right. Evan DeVore, Team Z, who's getting their ass kicked in here? Oh, oh we, have, we have the matchup of the night. What's the score? Three, three to three. Three, three to three. Oh! <laughs> Make that four to three. Live action coming at you right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a bad night, yeah. AJ, obviously, obviously in full control of this one. Yeah, I know. Lost, lost a little control. Oh, what you? What? Oh, it looks like. Your time is up. My time is now. Serena, Serena, Evan DeVore, TMZ. So it looks like it looks like you just suffered a tough defeat. Tell me what's going in your mind right now. Um, he cheated. Are we really gonna do this on live TV? He cheated. How, how could you cheat at this game? You, you put the thing, you put this on top of the puck and you stop it and then you hit it. All right, all right, we're gonna go talk to the winner here. JJ, congratulations, congratulations on your defeat here. We just got word that you're being accused of cheating here. I, I'm not saying that you're cheating, that you cheat, but your opponent says you're cheating. How do you, what do you, what do you have to say about this? I never, I'm, I'm true, I'm true, I'm true to Jesus, okay? That's, that's who helped me win this, all right? He cuts my grass every day so I can practice. I don't gotta worry about mowing my lawn because Jesus got for me. He's got me, he's got me. I would never cheat on him. Wow, very inspirational. So, um, so just tell, just take us through it a little bit, like, you know, oh, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So take us through that that final moment when you're just, just you're finally destroying your opponent. What was going through your mind? I mean, I had control of the board the whole game. I saw the fear in her eyes. It just pumped me up even more. I got the final strike, and I knew it was in before it was done. <laughs> wow. Well, congratulations again on your victory, and uh, we hope to see you play sometime soon again. Evan Devore, TMZ, not a cheater, according to JJ.